What's up guys, it's Karen here, and thank you for joining for another battle here. So today I'm going against a good friend, his name is Staldasha from Finland. He is always bringing well thought out teams, and they're very very well constructed. And it's actually been some time since we battled, I think the last time was actually during my UU week, so that is at least three weeks ago. Uh, so I'm really glad we're having a battle. Uh, he always, always puts me in trouble, and like I said, his team is very thought out, and this team is also very very tough to deal with. He's bringing the Mothrim. It's a very offensive, both specially and offensively on Poke. Uh, you can use Quiver Dance. It's real, real hard to do it. Uh, Lapras with Water Absorb. Uh, Ball Plume, which is a good counter for the most of my team actually, because it walls a lot. The Pillow Swine, which is the Evil Eye set. Uh, bring the Self Prox and stuff like that. Malamar, who is a direct counter for my team, considering I use Sticky Web and Intimidate to actually stop my opponents for, you know, being too strong. So that is gonna be trouble for me, and he's using a Salt Vested Hiriyama. Uh, I myself is using the same thing I did last week. Uh, I can't have Magneton anymore, because Magneton is actually, well, banned from NU. It's RU now, so... Damn! <laughs> That's, so I need to bring something else for next, the next battle here. Nevertheless, guys, I did expect him to bring actually Pills 100 in the beginning, and I actually didn't mind that. I just needed to get the stick web up anyway. So, yeah, that is pretty much how it should <laughs> look. He will actually surprise me by bringing Hiriyama. I know that knockoff was probably in my way, but I also know I can take around half about that damage, consider that I am somewhat defensively invested here. So I'm just gonna go for a stick web, and he will crit me here. And, well, that is awful. So I need to switch out, I need to preserve him in case of uh, actually going up against the uh, Malamar there, because I can't one-shot it with uh, an Exciso. So then we go for a bullet punch, it doesn't do anything. Uh, I don't. Like, I know he's gonna switch out, so I'm just gonna bring Taffy right away, you know, getting that good switching, I thought, but you know, here's the flower power of all bloom, and it's not like I can do anything, so I actually need to switch out this, sadly, I wanted to go for an knockoff, but I couldn't. He'll miss the sleep powder, and that re really, really terrifying way. He's actually a life orb, the uh, hidden power fire of all bloom, and I know I can <laughs> uh, kill him here with the flash cannon, so yeah, I'm still in pain though. But look at this flash cannon, it's actually do somewhat well here against the Hiriyama and doing almost half, I mean that that is awesome for being a Salt Vested. So I need to switch out, I can't take any close combat and earthquake or stuff like that. Um, he will see right through that and bring the flower power. And uh, I was actually on the fence on whether or not he will predict me to go for Magneton and go for an Aegean Power again. But I decided to, I might as well sack him and that's the case. It's not worth any for a Sludge Bomb. Luckily for me he went for a Sludge Bomb, so yay me! <laughs> I won the prediction, uh, but was, we waited for some time to actually make the decision. So anyway, I decided to sack him here, pretty much, because um, I know he's gonna go for Stealth Rocks. He might have gone for Earthquake, but actually he did the Stealth Rocks, so yeah, I thought that. So yeah, he's gonna go for the last effort I shot, and i just gonna go for Flash Cannon. Like I said, I pretty much wanted to bait him here for the Malamar. Uh, I do want that thing to come in. Because my Magneton, Magneton is no range of actually dealing with the superpower, and I see that no reason to switch out because I had no way of outspeeding anything and go for rest. So, yeah, so I'm gonna bring Taffy here, and he will actually threaten. Uh, I don't know who will win that face off actually. So, nevertheless, he just went for a knockoff here, and it doesn't do too much against his Lapras, who is choice specs, uh, which you guys doesn't see because the text is slow. <laughs> So I'm just gonna bring Plexus here, uh, being pretty much able to wall anything, but he gets improvisation and it's going to matter a little bit here. Uh, I myself here just gonna go for Thunder Wave, knowing that it has to switch out. I was kinda hoping for the Malamar coming in. And yeesh! So alright, here's the Hiriyama, and I was thinking here, I was actually somewhat stupid, I was thinking it's gonna switch out because I got that Thunder Wave off. But he will actually decide to stay in, so I go for a Thunder Wave just in vain, and he will finish me off almost with a knockoff. But with the knockoff and bullet punch combo, he will actually take me out. So, damn it, because I needed Kecleon to deal with Malamar because of the Shadow Sneak. So, anyway, I was thinking, he's probably in the range from Eruption, actually can take it. Uh huh. Damn it. Damn that thick fat. So, he will actually one shot my Murno. He doesn't get to do anything here, and that is awful, actually. So, yeah, I was thinking, alright, I might at least survive a switch in here. No. So, well, I only have Kingler and. Um, my Gramble left, so I'm actually in no good position. Obviously Bullet Punch doesn't do anything, but I was thinking Brick Break might be the way to go. 
should definitely go for Rock Slide here because he will just bring in Nightmare there and he will go for a safe substitute and that is going to be annoying. So, <laughs> god damn it. So, I'm really glad that he <laughs> actually survived his bug bus and get that substitute out. Um, my opponent lately said that he just read the resistant damage and did not see how much it did. So he will actually do a huge misplay here because he could actually have been, well obviously won there because of this, because he will actually decide to switch out and um, yeah, <laughs> he should have easily taken me out there. Uh, obviously my Kingler could have dealt with it, but I don't know, I don't know. Uh, so anyway, the player off does well over 40%, so I'm in the range where I'll, another player off actually will take it out. So yeah. Goodbye. Sorry, right, at least the Malamar is here, and like I said, it gets the speed boost, which is very, very, very threatening. So he's gone for super power, he doesn't take me out, uh, and this is gonna be game breaking and pretty much seals his fate. I get a crit with my player, play rough, and that kills the Malamar, and that is really unfair. I actually do around 30% as max damage uh, after that super power. So, yeah. I, that is real unfortunate, consider that Kingler here will actually outspeed his Mothrim. So yeah, Stardasher, thank you for this game and well, <laughs> GG, right? Just to have it said really, if this thing, the Mothra, uh, had actually taken out my Grand Bull instead of um, Stardasher switching out, I don't know if actually my Kingler would have pulled through. I would have gone for Rock Slide anyway, but I would have pretty much I bet that Rockstar would flinch and I don't think I would have been, would have been faster uh, after that speed boost. I don't even know what Rockstar would do. I know my superpower would probably be a 2-3 at KO. But nevertheless, I mean, props to Star Dash for using some cool stuff as always. This was actually the, the closest loss I got since I started this team. I think I am in 11 wins at this moment and uh, no loss so far. So it's a definitely a winning team. It works really well. Kingler hits just too hard, but Malamar is a great counter and Stardash really, really provided a great game. So anyway guys, you know, thank you for watching, as always, and have a good day.